you know, I, I was fearless. I'd fight anybody. I really wouldn't. I, I really, I'd, I'd, I'd take on anybody. Boxing is the hardest game in the world, but I tell you what, nothing is harder than life. And life hits us hard sometimes. People, they, they see you on the TV screen knocking people out and they think, well, oh, you know, what has he got to worry about? Depression, drinking, drugs. I was a time bomb waiting to, to happen. It started like a two pence piece and then the more you dwell on it, you more you want to let that two pence piece grows, grows, grows. And it grow, if you let it grow that much, it, it results with you sat there with a knife on your wrist. And the best thing I did was, you know, say, listen, I can't do this on my own. If I leave it on my own, I'm going to die. Please help me, help me. And I was in tears crying. I showed the character what I always showed in the boxing ring. I just made myself just going up to a doctor and I just went in and I put my hands on his, on his lap and went, please help me, please help me, otherwise I'm going to kill myself. I've done so many things that could make me proud in, in my life, you know what I mean? All the fights that I had, you know, the fans that I took to Las Vegas, 58,000 at the city, Manchester Stadium, if, if a wonderful gym, I train boxers now and all that, you know, I nearly threw it away by, you know, thinking it was an hard case. <laughs> you know, I think, uh, you know, it's time to swallow the hard case acts when this thing comes upon you, because this thing will kill you. At the end of the day, you know, if a guy like myself who thought he could walk through the walls can say, listen, I, I feel like shit here. I'm crying every night. I'm fucking sick of hating myself. I need to tell someone there's no reason why anyone else can't do it. It doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you're a coward. You know, it means you're a genius.